The first mayoral debate since the primaries for two candidates from the same party whose voting records are strikingly similar. Tuesday's debate drew more battle lines over personality than substance. It's common knowledge Roxanne Qualls and John Cranley are polar opposites on the streetcar. Cranley took every opportunity to bring up his opposition, mentioning it at least 23 times, even when talking about the Metropolitan Sewer District. You may or may not need a streetcar, but you need your toilet to flush. Both agreed they wouldn't want to raise the city's earnings tax, and they both thought the state of Ohio was wrong to deny incentive tax credits to the marital aids retailer True Romance. Qualls called the state's move prudish. Jobs are jobs. Perhaps the biggest conflict between the two candidates came after Qualls hinted of progress regarding the replacement of the aging Millennium Hotel. Without saying too much, there are possibilities on the horizon in terms of resolving this issue. Now we're hearing about some secret plan to spend money on the Millennium Hotel. How much is going to be spent on the Millennium? There's no secret deal with Millennium. I am always for transparency in government. But you are business folks also, and you know that you don't con negotiate your contracts in public. Both told me they had issues they wanted to address that weren't part of the debate. In my effort to reduce the poverty rate by 5% during my first term. We have been, as a city, investing tremendously in many of our great neighborhoods. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Queensgate.